go ahead Paris here back at it again with another story time but to be honest this is not really my story to tell I'm gonna be completely honest with you like somebody else should be telling this story but I was there and I do feel like I was the hero of this story because I did what I did and I have to do what I did what I did but I did what I did when I did it so I didn't have to do it but I did it so therefore I believe that I am the hero in this situation so I'm gonna tell the damn story all right but before we get started can I just say that my life has been absolutely chaotic lately like I've been so sick lately but I just started feeling better which is why I haven't been posting as much lately so many things are going on in my life like so much shit is going on there are so many new ventures that i'm entering into i'm doing my cooking channel if you guys didn't know yet but i'll talk more about that later on i'm trying to switch up my style like there's just a lot going on i'm working on a lot of projects that are coming to you very very soon so whenever you see me post something click on it because i will be talking about it in the coming videos i can't i can't say much right now but when i tell you that it's coming it's coming. I've been working my little booty off. So yeah, if I ever do a life update video or anything like that, I'm not sure if I will, but if I do, definitely click it and check it out because that's like a four hour video right there with everything that's been going on. I feel like I should start vlogging again because the things that happen in my life, you guys would be absolutely entertained. I don't know why I don't have a camera with me 24 seven. I have no clue, but we gonna figure it out. We gonna get it together. But regardless, I just want to say that because I don't know if I'm gonna do a life update video or not, but if I do watch it but yeah anyways so back when I was like 19 20 years old oh my gosh bring me back bring me back to when I was 20 years old I was the life of the party and when I say I was the life of the party y'all already know this because all of my story times surrounded by clubs house parties basement parties because that's where all the action ever happens okay and fun fact there was a time in my life when I was like 19 20 years old where people used to literally call me life of the party I don't know if I told you guys that before but like they would not call me Paris they would not call me by my first name it was yo life of the party what's up life of the party yo you life of the party my twitter handle used to be life of the party like it was a whole thing it was a whole thing let me tell you girl but anywho let's get to the story so when i was like 19 20 years old i had this friend that i was on and off with like we would be friends and then we'd like stop talking for no reason and then we'd see each other at a party and we'd like become friends again and like those on and off bullshit ass relationships and to my members if you're listening if you're watching my members who get exclusive content on my membership yes i'm talking about her she's exactly who i'm speaking of because you know she stays on her bullshit you know she stays on her bullshit you know she can't stay out of trouble you know her ass is always drunk you know that she's a hot mess in a dress and always in distress that's her that's who i'm speaking of and that's why i'm gonna leave that at so here's a little side story for y'all who who know the situation that's going on right now currently in my life here's another story to add on to the bullshit that i've told you about her before but let's continue <laughs> so at this time at this point in my life me and this girl who we are gonna call mango i just saw this bath and body works room spray and i was like okay mango go ahead then mm, that's delightful delectable <laughs> But anyways, there's this girl named Mango. We're on and off friends. And we're actually good friends until recently. Very recently, actually. But that's the main reason why I never told the story because she was my friend and I don't like to tell stories about my friends if it's gonna embarrass them. But if I don't fuck with you, then bitch, as long as I'm not saying your name, your story is going to be told. <laughs> but anyways, I was at this party with my other friend, okay? And Mango had came in the room. We are in like the living room area and I saw Mango come through the door. And I didn't have problems with Mango go but like things were a little awkward with us like we haven't talked in a while so it's like i don't even know if i should say hi to you or not should i say hi should i not do i go up to her do i just walk by her do i cut my eyes do i roll my eyes at her do i brush her do i start a fight like bitch i don't even know it's confusing i, I don't know if i want to square up or dab the bitch i don't know i'm not sure but i was with my friend i remember looking over at my friend and being like oh do you know mango because i wasn't sure if they knew each other and she was like yeah i know that bitch and i was like bitch fuck happened with y'all too what she do to you i know she, i know she be up in people's business and she be doing the most but what she do to you and then my friend just proceeded to tell me little like i'm not even gonna repeat it because at the end of the day i don't know if they're true or not but little you know backhanded petty ass girl stuff oh she did this with this person and that with that person i don't like it because she's kind of whatever like those little chitter chatters i don't know if it's real i don't know if it's fake i'm not gonna push the narrative of what people think of her like whatever she is is what she is okay so she was saying all that so basically she didn't really have a problem with her 
but from the things that she heard, she wasn't a fan of her. And I was like, okay, hey, fair, that's fair, whatever. But I personally don't like to judge people based off of what other people say about them because it could easily be jealousy. It could easily be a situation that happened with you and that person and then that person goes around spreading rumors. So when, people, when I hear stuff about people, I take it with a grain of salt and I judge you by our interactions. That's how I've always been with everyone. So it's always been that way, okay? There's nobody in the world who can make me not like someone who I don't know. If I don't know you, I, I just don't know you. And if I decide to get to know you and you're cool, then what this person said doesn't matter to me. What you show me at face value is all that matters. Little side note. But anyways, Mango came through the room. We're sitting in the living room and I saw her walk through and I asked my friend, like, you know her? She was like, ugh, this bitch, uh, whatever. And she walked like to the room with this guy and this girl. So it was three of them that came in at the same time. There wasn't a lot of people at the party at this time. So like it's open space. You can see who's coming through the door. You can see who's walking around. We were just sitting on the couch, chilling, whatever. So as the night goes on, my friend, y'all listen to me and just learn from my mistakes, okay? My friend, was supposed to be the designated driver of the night and bitch I don't, I don't even think I had my G1 at the time a G1 is basically the first step to getting your license so like your driving permit where you need an adult in the car with you and you can't really go on the road type thing for you Americans out there or anyone else who's not Canadian I got my G1 I only have my G1 I don't even know if I have my G1 to be honest I don't know I don't remember all I know is I did not have my G license I did not have my full license to drive the car anyways uh, she was supposed to be my, be my designated driver home and and this bitch was getting pissed drunk. I was like, how are we, how, I, how are we getting home? So immediately I just stopped drinking. I wasn't tipsy or anything like that. I feel like I had like one Smirnoff ice and I was not even a little buzz. It was just a chill night for me. But when I saw she was like throwing back shots, it's like a side story to be honest, but whatever. When I saw her like throwing back shots and shit, I'm like, let me just slow down my drinking because I'm like mama bear of my friend group. Even though I only came with her, so it's not a group, but I'm like mama bear. I don't want us both to be drunk to the point where we both don't know what we're doing and we both can't be like, ew, do you see the guy you're talking to? Look at the nigga that's speaking to you. Are you looking at him? Look at him in his face, like the two eyes on that face, look at him. If we're both drunk, we don't know who's ugly. So I have to. I have to be mama bear. So I remember st I stopped drinking and I wasn't drunk or tipsy or anything, but I was like, I'm not gonna drink anymore for the rest of the night. Because obviously this is your turn to have fun. You're, you forgot you're the designated driver. You pissed drunk. You over there doing your damn thing. Whatever, have a good time. Enjoy your life. A few hours later, I see Michael come from whatever room she was in and she sits down in this chair like across from me and she's just staring at me. And in my head, I'm like, the fuck do you, you wanna fight about it? Like, I don't even know what we're fighting about. I don't even know why I don't like you, but I just don't like you right now. We haven't talked in a while, but I don't know what's like beef beef. I don't know we're beefing like that, but you're staring at me like you have a problem with me. Like I have your underwear on right now. That's how, that's how you're treating me right now. And I don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't. And my friend is over here pissed drunk talking to some nigga. And I'm just like, I can't even talk to you about the fact that I feel like I want to fight this girl right now. Because don't you dare sit over there looking at me, staring at me like we have a problem. I don't think we have a problem until right now. I guess we have a problem. And she just looked mad. She just looked upset. Set. She just looked like she wanted to fight me. And I'm assuming you want to fight me because you're looking at me. You're looking at me. It's, I'm right here. Bitch, then out of nowhere, the girl that she came in the party with, and then out of nowhere, out of absolutely nowhere, nowhere, the girl that she came to the party with for absolutely no reason or for reasons that I don't know and I cannot answer for you guys. I can only tell you, I'll, you'll hear in the story, but I don't know what happened. All I know is Mango came from the rooms over there, sat down on the couch, looked like she wanted to fight me. And then homegirl she came to the party with comes out of nowhere and throws a drink in her face. And I'm like, the fuck? Where did that come from? Like she's looking at me like she wanna fight me and bitches are throwing drinks in your face. Like it's a bad night for you. Because at this point I'm on her side. I even know what you did to her, but I'm on her side at this point in time. Like what did you do for your friend who you came to the party with to throw a drink in your face? And when she got the drink thrown in her face, Mango sat there like a mango. She sat there like a mango, like she ain't had no limbs, like she ain't had no bones, like she had no skin, she had no backbone, she had no brain, no heart. No liver, bitch. She was like an inanimate object. She just sat there and took that shit. Could never be me. Could never be Paris. It must be London. Couldn't be Paris. It couldn't be Paris. Like your friend really just threw a drink in your face and you're sitting down there like everything's okay. The entire party went, <gasps> DJ was extra enough to turn the music off. DJ turned the music off after you got 
liquor thrown in your face. This is a big deal. This is a situation. You need to get your ass up and be somebody ass. Bitch, if you can't fight, you better go in the kitchen and get you a knife. But what you're not gonna do is sit there like a bitch ass bitch. Cause that's not cute. Fighting is not cute, but sitting down and looking like a bitch with no backbone is even worse. Bitch, I don't care if I don't know how to fight. If you throw a drink in my face, I will spit in your eye. I will lose a fight, but as long as I fight, that's how I feel. But she just sat there and she was just like, and I'm looking at my friend like, DJ cut the music. Drake just got thrown on Mango. The fuck is going on? Bitch, I've only been at this party for like three hours. And it hasn't even been that long. The party has just started. People are just now starting to get here. How has an event like this already occurred? Is it home time? Is it time to go home already? Because it's like, it's 1 a.m. I wasn't planning to leave until like 3, 4 a.m. Y'all need to get it together. Can you play the music? Cause obviously this bitch doesn't care so we shouldn't either. But it didn't end there. Like I said, I was on homegirl's side. The girl who threw the drink on Mango, I was on her side because she was, cause Mango was looking at me crazy. So automatically I was just like, yeah, throw that, throw that drink, throw that fucking drink. But at the same time, I was like, I can't believe you sat there and took that drink. Like you, you used to be my friend. Like if we were friends, I would've fought this bitch for you. I would've fought her with you. We could've jumped the hole together. But we not talking right now. So I'm just sitting over here minding my damn business, waiting for the music to start. But that wasn't it. Like I said, the DJ turned on the music so I can hear what's being said now. Homegirl who threw the drink, is now talking to Mango and saying to Mango, you're wearing my shirt, take my shirt off. You're wearing my shirt, take that shirt off. Take that fucking shirt off, take the fucking shirt off. And I was like, Lord Jesus, help her. Cause that, the, 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 the drink in your face was embarrassing. But her telling you to take her shirt off, you borrowed her shirt and she wanted back right here, right now in the middle of the party. Jeez. Again, couldn't be me. You would have to drag that shirt off of my body and I'm pulling your pants off and I'm wearing your pants as a crop top. Something, bitch, but I'm not taking no shirt off in the middle of the party, it's not happening. So she's sitting there like, take my fucking shirt off. That's my fucking shirt, take that shit off, bitch. Take the fucking shirt off, take the fucking shirt off. And Mango's not budging at first. Mango's like, just sitting there, allowing this bitch to bark. Like she wasn't talking, she was, or she was barking at you. Calling you all types of bitches and hoes and sluts. And you just sitting there, you ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got shit to say, nothing. You ain't got nothing to say? Could not be M-E. Anywho, Mango sitting there huffing and puffing just <sighs> starts bursting out in tears. Like her face was red. And can I just, side note, the bitch that she came to the party with is not a bitch to be afraid of. Like she's not a big bitch. She's not a tall bitch. She's not a strong bitch. She is this little skinny, like shorts, you couldn't do nothing. Like you, it would take you up. You couldn't, you couldn't hurt fly. Like, I don't know why anyone would ever be afraid of her. She's the last person in Toronto I would ever be afraid of. So I don't understand why Mango was taking that shit. Cause Mango is bigger, stronger. Bitch, you could have just flicked her just like that. And she would have went flying. I don't understand what she was afraid of or why she didn't want to open her mouth and stand up for herself. But I guess that's why I was her friend because even up to this day, like when we were friends a few months, years ago, whatever, I'm always the one to talk up and stand up for her always, no matter what. We'd be at a party or a club or whatever and someone would like brush her and she would just stand there and I'm like, bro, say something. She's like, it's okay, I don't want to say anything. And then I gotta go up to a bitch like, excuse me, you just brushed my friend. Are you gonna say sorry? Like I have to say it for you because I love you more than you love yourself apparently, the fuck? You don't let people just push you around, especially at our grown ass age. Respect is, is not even earned, it's expected, the fuck? Anyways, she starts bursting out in tears and she's crying and she's bawling and I'm sitting there like, oh my God, I went from being on homegirl side who threw the drink to like okay you ain't gotta do all this like she's literally crying in the middle of the party the music is down we can hear her crying there's snot coming out of her nose like this is a lot like this is borderline bullying like i don't like this anymore this is no longer entertainment what do, like let's get this shit together. So she starts taking off her shirt. She took her shirt off in the middle of the party. Guys are going fucking wild, even though she's sitting there crying. She's in her bra. She's in like just a regular black bra, sitting there on the couch and guys are like, oh shit. Oh man, look at them titties. Blah, blah, blah. Like doing the most, doing the most extra shit. It's like, how do you find a girl who's crying and in pain and embarrassed? How do you sexualize that? How do you sexualize the situation? But niggas will do what niggas do. So. Am I shocked? Not at all. But I felt horrible. I felt like shit. 
and I didn't do anything. I wasn't laughing throughout the entire situation. I was just watching. I wasn't laughing. I wasn't encouraging anything. There are some bitches who were like, yeah, bitch, tell her, take that fucking shirt off. That ain't your shirt, bitch. What you want other people's shirts for? Stuff like that. I wasn't doing none of that. I was just sitting on the side like, mm, this is live. Anyway, she took her shirt off. She's crying. Niggas are going wild. And she's just sitting there with her tummy folded up into like 12 folds with her brassier on. Her brassier, y'all. And when I say her tummy folding up in 12 folds, I'm talking about like all of us. We all if we sit down our bellies are folded over like that like she's sitting like as if she's in her room on her bed about to take a shower like it's it's embarrassing it's honestly embarrassing so the girl grabbed the shirt and she left with the guy i don't know who the guy is we'll get to that though i don't know who the guy is i've never seen him in my life but they like ran off into the hallway giggling laughing he was like dying laughing making fun of her even though all three of them came together very weird anyways people started taking out their phones people are like taking pictures of her people are laughing people are taking videos it was probably traumatizing for her which is again why i decided to never tell the story because she was my friend and i'm sure that was a time in her life that was like very traumatizing and shit but if you remember you know what the fuck she did to me and i don't give a fuck anymore fuck that bitch stories being told anyways y'all just gotta trust me on this sometimes people deserve shit and this is one of those times and even with people deserving shit i'm not saying anyone's name i'm not saying any names mango yeah i'll be protecting people who do not need to be protected but this this is a whole nother situation let me continue i'm sorry but i just wanted to let my members know really quick anyways <laughs> like i said i felt bad i was wearing at the time i don't know if you guys remember this trend but let me try and get a shirt to explain to you so back in the day my go-to style i never had i never had style my, my entire life not really a stylish person bitch i'm trying to get there i'm trying to switch it up you know what i mean but back in the day my my go-to style when it came to like going to parties was skinny jeans, high-waisted skinny jeans, uh, tank top tucked into my skinny jeans, and then one of these little tie crop top things if y'all know what I mean. So I would literally like wear something like this, except for it'd be like a tank top, so all this is covered. And I just wear it over like that, and that'd be my outfit, okay? Me being the sweet cancer girl that I am, I took my top off, the tie up one, the one that ties up, I took it off and I just wore my tank top with my skinny jeans and I threw my shirt in her lap, I just went, I didn't say nothing to her because I was still feeling some type of way about the way she was grilling me. But at the same time, I felt bad for her because I'm like, you're sitting here crying half naked in your brassiere. Like, that's not right. And all these people are laughing at you and shit. And I even remember this one girl. I wish I had my old phones. I wish if I had my old phones, all of my story times would be a million times better because I have all the pictures, all the videos, all that shit. But I don't save, I don't save anything. Once I get a new phone, whatever was on my old phone is gone forever. I hate that about me. But anyways, I remember after the party, this girl sending me a video of her taping her on the couch crying and me throwing the shirt in her lap like that was caught on camera on multiple phones so y'all can't say i'm lying y'all can if you were there you know what i did and i did it out of the pureness and kindness out of my heart because i didn't even like the bitch at the time i wasn't even friends with her at the time like that like at all but i took my shirt off and i threw it in her lap and i went back and i sat down i sit back down i talked to my friend and by the time i look over to my right side she's sitting beside me and i just look at her and she's looking at me and then she's like, thank you so much, you didn't have to do that. And I was like, no problem. And I turned back around because I was like, I still don't like you. I just don't like to see people in pain. I don't like to see people sad. I don't like to see people embarrassed. Like it's not, it's not cool. Now to be honest, if I wasn't sober during this time, would I have given her my shirt? Probably not. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I might've been one of the people who was recording as well because when I'm drunk, I have no mercy. I'm not, I'm just not the same person. Well, back then when I got drunk, I wasn't the same person as I am when I'm sober. I might've been just like the rest of the people who were in the room that are drunk where it's like oh this is just funny i'm not thinking about the fact that this is actually a person and they're feeling embarrassed right now but i was completely sober and i felt empathy i was sad for her so my friend is over here talking to this guy she's drunk she barely understands what's going on i'm like bitch we cannot go home like you can't drive me home you're drunk i'm not finna die tonight i do not do the drinking and driving shit i'm not with that at all whatsoever so like give me your keys she gave me her keys and i'm like you ready to leave because i'm ready to go because at this point yeah the music is playing now yes the party is getting started or whatever but it's just it was a killer for me i was just like you're drunk out of your mind bitch you was just half naked i'm sober as hell and i gotta stay sober like i'm ready to just go home let's go so i look at her i'm like let's go home like come on let's go bitch mind you i 
I have my G1. I have my G1. This party was like 15 minutes away from my house. I have my G1. Not just learn from my mistakes, okay? So I look over at Mango and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna leave, like enjoy your night. In my head, I'm like, bitch, why didn't you already leave? Like you just got embarrassed and you're gonna sit here in front of everyone who was just laughing at you and taping you and you're just gonna sit here and enjoy their company? You're a different breed of woman. You're a different breed. I've said this before to my besties. She's a different breed, yo. I don't understand where she came from. Different weirdo, like for real, for real. You just got embarrassed, probably the most embarrassed you've ever been in your entire life and you're sitting down here acting like nothing happened. I don't get it. And even when I gave her my shirt, some other bitch in the side was like, you're still borrowing people's clothes? You're still borrowing people's clothes? In her little Toronto catty accent. And I'm just like, Ugh. Anyways, so me and my friend get up, I'm like, I'm leaving, bye. And then, and then we go out to the hallway to make our way down to my friend's car. Yes. I plan to drive because I did not want to call my mother and tell my mom that my designated driver is now drunk out of her mind. So I said to myself, I think I know what I'm doing and I decided to drive with no license, basically no license. Learn from my mistakes, don't do that shit. It's not smart, it's not cute. Bitch, call a cab, call a friend, walk, bitch, it was only 15 minutes away, walk the fuck. Anywho, by the time we get to the elevator, I see Mango like walking towards us and she's like, do you mind if I come home with you? Because Mango lived really close to me. So she's like, do you mind if I come home with you? And I was like, sure, yeah, you could come home. I'll drop you off, whatever. So I put my drunk friend in the back of the car and Mango sits in the front with me. It's my friend who's drunk's car and she's laying down. Just a mess of a night, honestly, just a mess of a night. And you know, I didn't know what I was doing when I was trying to reverse and I went forward. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Either way, I drove really, really slow. And when I say really slow, like someone was honking me, even though there's like no one on the street. There's, I remember this one car was behind me and he was honk or he or she was honking me because I was going so slow. Like I was going maybe 20 miles an hour, but we got home safely. I didn't know how to park. I parked in two parking spots and I was like, this bitch gets a ticket that's on her. She shouldn't have been drinking and then expecting to drive. So I really don't care. I parked this way, two parking spots bitch take it or leave it i'm not gonna fix this up and ruin your car it's not happening i remember trying to wake my friend up who's drunk and she would not get up so i just left her in the back of the car and um i told mango like i'm going upstairs to sleep so bye basically and she was like can i come upstairs and talk to you and i was like we can talk right here in the lobby of my building what why do you want to come upstairs to my house for what <laughs> like huh? what why do you i was just trying to be nice i'm not trying to be friends i repeat i was just trying to be nice I'm not trying to be friends. And by the way, I texted my friend and I was like, if you want your keys, come upstairs when you wake up to get them. She didn't want to, she did not want to budge. Like she didn't want to move. She was drunk out of her mind. Like I never, I remember I never made her designated driver ever again, ever. Anytime I went out to drink because that was a mess. The fact that I had to really drive and I didn't know how to drive, a mess. Anywho, so me and Mango talk in the lobby and Mango's basically explaining to me like, the guy that, the girl who threw the drink on her was with is my ex-boyfriend and out of nowhere, she just got mad at me and she was saying that I was trying to steal him away from her, but he was my ex-boyfriend first. And yeah, yeah, just tell me all this bullshit that I didn't really give a fuck about. Like, I don't care. To be completely honest with you, I don't care. Like, all this little kid bullshit relationship shit, like your ex-boyfriend likes your friend and now your friend is mad at you forever dating him and now she's throwing a drink on you and asking for her shirt back in the middle of the park. Like, what kind of bullshit is this? These are the people that you keep around you? I don't know about that. And to be honest, I don't know the full story of what happened. She's trying to tell me that her friend decided to date her ex and because she's now dating her ex she got mad at her for dating him first basically like bullshit like that and to be honest i'm gonna say i don't know the full story because she's known for lying our entire friendship she would lie and get caught in her lies and then lie to cover up that lie like she was just a liar so i don't know what the truth is she probably just made that shit up on the spot i don't believe anything she ever says or ever did say because she's just full of shit Full of feces, over it, over her, the end, done. Anyways, y'all, that's that on that. Leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you or let me know a situation where you saved someone when you didn't need to save them, when you shouldn't have saved them because later on in life you realize like that bitch deserved that shit because that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> and it's the fact that I have more story times to tell now that I don't talk to this person. More story times to tell, more story times to come because that bitch is a book within itself. This is just a tip of the iceberg, bitch. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Both of them are on your screen right now. Or you can click 
the link in the description box down below to see all of my socials and follow me there. I always spam my new followers. So if you have a public account and you follow me on Instagram, I will spam and like all of your pictures to show my appreciation. That's just how I do because I love you. So if you're not following me already, follow me now. And if you're already following me, just shoot me a DM and I'll do the same for you. Whatever you want, whatever you ask for, you shall receive, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice. And I'll see you on the flip side.